Hey guys, Tyler here again. This time I'm going to be breaking down the trailer, having a look at all the easter eggs and things we can pick up from the Assassin's Creed movie trailer. Obviously there's a shitload in there, I've just been through it a couple times and I've got a lot to talk about and a lot to discuss. First of all, obviously the opening shot is actually the modern day version of the Spanish city and this Substoga facility is in the same place as in the Spanish Inquisition where we go back with the ancestor. As you can see in the opening shot, it has the same main bell tower we see later on in the trailer. We find out that they erased Callum Lynch's life. He's our modern day protagonist and we found out that in fact they actually executed him which looked like when they had this like chemical, they slowed down his heart of, in some sort of way and because of that, he's died, they've been able to erase his existence, say he's dead now, so that no one's going to be looking for him, and he's not missing. And now they can totally use him for exactly what they want. Abstogo are back, and they're evil as fuck. You notice after we have a look through the Abstogo facility, and Callum Lynch begins to train, there's a display of all these hidden blades. They look like different assassins' hidden blades throughout history. Obviously, it seems like they have Callum Lynch's ones, or something that they're using to actually train him in. You even get a really cool shot here if you see Jeremy Irons, who plays Alan Rickon, the CEO of Abstergo. We've seen him a lot throughout different writings and things like that of Assassin's Creed, but I never really got a good look at him. And Jeremy Irons is such a great actor and really cool person to play such an important role in this movie. A crazy thing is they actually place these weapons, like I said, onto Callum Lynch before he heads into the Animus, which is a bit strange at first, but when you actually get a look at this new Animus, it's nothing like we've ever seen before in the games. It's a crane that attaches like a belt to you and gives you mobility to move. So instead of a helix or the old Animus, which are chairs or like a freaking bed, this is actually gives you the chance to do all the movements, so you're able to learn the bleeding effect by actually doing the movements, and he's literally like a VR playing his ancestor in front of everyone watching and doing all the moves from this crane, so that's why they place the weapons to get his body used to everything on it. When we get our first cool shot of this beautiful city back in the 15th century, of course, you have a nice little shot of the eagle flying around the bell tower, a very cool little easter egg of synchronizing. One of the next really awesome shots is the what I think is the Brotherhood's base. You see this nice landscape shot out in the countryside, but you have what looks like a castle and two assassins. It looks like they're standing guard of some sort. So potentially that could be the Brotherhood's base in this setting throughout the movie. You get a nice shot of the Brotherhood and you get to see the quite a sizable Brotherhood. You even get to see what looks like must be the mentor or at least the Grand Master who's standing to the right of Agula, our main character and ancestor of Callum Lynch, who's I believe in the middle of these seven assassins there and he has a cool little axe spear thing on his back and he has Agulas to his left, or to his right, our left I should say. You even get a look at what looks like some of the political figures of this movie, and you can assume usually political figures and high ranking ones at that are usually the Templars in most Assassin's Creed settings. So that's something interesting to note also, especially since we see the Assassins chained up and look like they're going to be executed. I also wanted to note the awesome cinematography in this trailer and the epic shots you get to see throughout it. You've even got a mad air assassination throughout there that I thought was a really cool thing that they've put in. They're really fitting in all the game styles into this movie, trying to keep it as close to the game while creating their own mark on it. You get to see some of the insane parkour these guys are doing. I remember maybe a year ago there was a rumor of someone saying they weren't going to have as much parkour in it because it's so unrealistic. Well, doesn't look like it at all and I'm happy to hear it that we're going to have plenty of awesome parkour throughout the movie. You get to see um, one of the main supporting characters, the assassin, whose name is Maria, I believe. And you actually get to see that she has a very interesting hidden blade. She has two blades on each of her wrist blades that stick out. Something I've never seen before, very unique style and I like all the costumes of all the assassins, but the fact that they've got their own distinction with their blades and their weaponry. Callum Lynch, even outside of the Animus, he's not only doing all the moves when he's connected to that Animus, but he's training with the bow and arrow and they're kind of having a couple mirroring shots of Callum Lynch doing stuff and Aguilar doing the same thing. I see a little cool easter egg 
that I think might even be a little easter egg towards Leonardo da Vinci's war machines in Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. You have this cool little crossbow like a turret attached to this carriage and it's similar to the one you see in Assassin's Creed Brotherhood where you have one of those gun mounted on those carriages that Etsy has to destroy and I thought maybe it's a cool little throwback to the da Vinci design especially because it's in the same time period or maybe it's just its own thing but I think it's cool either way. And I think, of course, you can't have Assassin's Creed without a leap of faith, but there's a couple of things you can actually break down from those shots. Of course, you have the awesome parkour and things like that, but when you see that first shot of Aguilar synchronizing, you see something that's quite interesting, and I don't understand exactly what it's doing, because in the games, when an assassin is synchronizing, obviously you're drawing it to collect the information on your map, so why would they be doing it in the movie and you see this kind of weird wave of energy and you can see it in this shot here it's like this little arc of wind that's right next to Aguilar that kind of blows out as he's concentrating like he's meditating or synchronizing perhaps he has some more distinct senses that our video game characters do and that's a way to explain that sense where he goes up to synchronize to kind of take in the atmosphere and information of things that are going on around him and of course you get an awesome leap of faith shot as he goes down the tower and you even see the hay bale at the top of the roof down the bottom very funny very cool very iconic and a really interesting trailer overall so again let me know what you guys think do you think I missed anything in this trailer what do you think of all these cool little easter eggs I'd like to know what you think the synchronizing is and maybe what Aguilar's powers are that he can do when he's synchronizing at those viewpoints so guys that's my breakdown and easter eggs of the Assassin's Creed movie trailer let me know what you think in the comments below thank you for watching subscribe if you're new and I will see you guys next time.